Acts chapter 4, the prayer meeting that literally shook the world. Peter and John had been arrested. They stood before the religious leaders. They were rebuked publicly and ordered never to teach or preach the name of Jesus again. They assembled together, all of the believers, for a prayer meeting. It began with a testimony of God's grace and provision, seeing them through their arrest. But then the meeting transitioned, transitioned to a movement that would literally shake the world. The Bible records in the book of Acts chapter 4 that in unity all the believers cried out in prayer, asking for one request. O oh Lord, give us boldness, give us healing, Allow us to do miracles, signs, and wonders in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In unity, one request, pour out your spirit. Anoint us that we might preach with courage and boldness. And that when we pray for people, your healing hand would be stretched out. And there would be miracles, signs, and wonders. This prayer meeting is about to change Jerusalem, Samaria, Judea, and the uttermost parts of the earth. The Bible says that the building began to shake as God filled every single one of these great prayer warriors. They were filled, baptized, and refilled with the very Spirit of God. And this, this prayer meeting is the beginning a beginning of signs, wonders, and miracles that we're going to follow together daily through the book of Acts. God has poured out His Holy Spirit. Oh, I'm so grateful that you joined me this morning. I'm just on top of my fourth peak of the day. It's not been easy. An hour ago, I, I was on that peak right there. Oh man, what a, what a journey I have made. But that is nothing compared to the journey of the early New Testament church. How God would use them. God is still pouring out His Spirit this morning. God's Holy Spirit is just a breath away. Father, as I stand on this peak, I pray for my friends and family. My family of faith. God, that you would pour out your spirit upon them, that you would stretch out your healing hands through them, and that they would do miracles, signs, and wonders through the power of the name of your servant, Jesus. We speak it together in the name of Jesus. Deliver the disease, deliver the sickness, deliver the one from the evil spirit, Oh, mighty God, we call upon your name and we give you glory and we give you praise for signs, wonders, and miracles that you are continuing to do today in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. You be blessed today as I continue to be praying for you that God's Spirit would fill you and flow through you I have a long way back to the trailhead, and I will be thinking of this passage of Scripture and praying especially for you.